there's a lot of things we believe here at the Carillon, things about uh, ethics, things about uh, what compromises are what compromises our journalistic duty to the University of Regina and its students. Um, and we also have some beliefs about uh, student health. We believe that students should be, um, students should eat healthy, students should exercise, students should all, you know, they should do the things that, that make it easier to be a student, make it easier to not worry about your body and focus on your studies. Um, we believe that. Uh, we also believe that there are some totally ridiculous foods you could put into your body and they're so awesome. Today, we've got some of those from the Kramer Boulevard McDonald's. What I'm about to make is something referred to as a Mc1035. It's something you can only get in that golden hour between when they switch over the lunch menu and the breakfast menu. So as you can see right here, hopefully, Double, just some ketchup and some pickle on it, and a sausage and egg McMuffin. What you do is peel the lid off, take the egg and the sausage, and I guess whatever the cheese comes with it, pop it on the sandwich. You usually get the one with bacon on it, but uh, they just had sausage. There you have it. A 10.35. It's a burger with egg on it. It's edible. Um, egg, is, egg is a thing you can get on a hamburger and it's okay. McDonald's egg on a hamburger is kind of weird. There's a weirdness to that. Let's see. You can kind of feel your heart in your chest going like, what did you do to me? This is probably going to get real hard to watch in a minute. Mason, come here. What was your what was your first reaction to this this burger which now looks like this? No. Why was your why was your reaction no? I looked at it and I saw the constituent parts and it just provoked the center in my brain that is provoked when I see like uh, a dead dog lying somewhere. Uh, you, uh, you came in and I, when I explained to you what, what, what it was, you asked if it was a thing and I told you that I had to create it. Uh, what well, yeah, it's like, it's like the main gangbang and I made that connection and I got yeah. even more scared. Um, are you taping this? Yeah, I'm taping this. Oh! Uh, what was your first What was your first thought besides, that's basically a McRedacted? <laughs> Honestly, my first thought was, no! Which is why when you said, hey, do you want to have a bite? I said, no! Are you sure you don't want a bite? Yes! You're not, you're not even curious about how No, I'm not. Tastes? That's just one thing. Actually, I've only had one. Part of it is that the McDonald's breakfast menu is just something that is terrifying to me. Like, I'll go late night, get a cheeseburger, whatever. I've had something from the McDonald's breakfast menu once in my life. I had an Egg McMuffin about five or six years ago. And I went, because I forgot that like McDonald's actually like separates their menus. That's like you can yeah. only get breakfast at a certain time. So I went going to get some fries with some friends in the morning. Uh, couldn't get them, so I'm like, oh, I'll have an Egg McMuffin. And I threw up. I threw up as soon as I ate it. I ate the whole thing, it went down, and it went back up. It was horrible and disgusting. I threw up on the table at McDonald's. See, but I think what I've just established is the idea that you could only get off one menu at a time is a, is a myth. You have to get this. The reason it's called it's the McTen Thirty Five because it's like during. The, I'm assuming it's a crossover. It's period. the rollover. Yeah. You've got you've got ten twenty five. I went in and a guy asked if they could give him something off the lunch menu, and the woman at the counter was like, Yeah, yeah, sure. And then she grabbed a broom and started shouting, Lunch menu, lunch menu, while flipping flipping the menu board over. Oh my and God. for me, I went in so to it's like get the changing of this. The guard. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I went in to, to get this, and they were doing the changing of the burger guard. <laughs> Friend of ours, you know, Errol, he... He made the McDouble Down. Yeah, the McDouble Down, where he made it McGangbang, but instead of using a filet of fish or whatever, he used the Double Down from KFC. It there's, looks, there's, it there's looks not, awful. The no, photo... It, it, well, the, and that looks great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it looks edible. No. <laughs> kind of. 
egg on a burger isn't an entire. Well, an egg on a thing. burger is like it's the kind of experimentation thing with burgers. We just walk in. Hey, who's that? Kent. Yeah. Come look at what I got. We're doing a burger video cast. Take a look. Oh, nice. Take, take a look at that. Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's so it's the frightening. Screen. You know what it's called? It's no. It's called the McTen 35. Wow. You only get it in the rollover period. <laughs> do you uh do you want a bite? No thanks. Josh, do you want a bite of a McTen 35? Of what? McTen 35. What's that? You take a uh, McDouble and then you put an egg McMuffin on it. <laughs> you can only get it in the rollover. <laughs> <laughs> So, so nobody else is even remotely interested in the science of this thing? No. What science? Well, I guess <laughs> As I've established, don't like you don't have to participate for science because science owes you nothing. And you owe science nothing. <laughs> you owe science nothing, Josh. The Mc1035. What has science ever done for you? <laughs> are, are there any numbers that we do have? Like the number for the hospital? <laughs>